Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Time for another review of the anime coming out in the summer 2022 season. <laughs> Moving on. We're discussing when will Ayumu make his move? This one was uh, one of the romance shows that came out this season. Fairly decent one. And uh, yeah. I guess it was one of two. Only two came out, right? Anyway, diving right into my overall opinion, <clears throat> I rather enjoyed it. It was a nice little romance, slice of life kind of thing going on. Um, it didn't really stand out, but it also wasn't bad. Moving on to the things that I liked. The character interaction was neat. Um, the, the show centering around Shogi was definitely interesting, whereas... You know, Times you'll just have a ordinary school setting and all that kind of stuff, and then it's just a generic thing. But centering around Shogi kind of gave it its own little personality and whatnot, and especially since it's a, a nice play on the title as well for a various number of reasons. Uh, because when will he make his move in Shogi, and when will he make his move in terms of uh, asking out the the girl he likes and all that kind of stuff, right? So very good. Good use of the title, the game, and everything going on there. Uh, also, the characters were quite cute. Even the like expressionless Ayumu reacts to things sometimes, and when he does, it's like, you know, wow, that's cool, right? Because you know he's been mostly expressionless. So like uh, when uh, <clears throat> uh, Urushi does something cute or whatnot, and he reacts or he has like a, a good time and all that. It, it, it kind of brightens up when he like smiles a little bit or like goes, ah. It just opens his mouth up and like widens his eyes a little bit. That's pretty much all the reaction you get from him. But still nice. Still very, very nice. Uh, as opposed to the other romance this season with the guy who was mostly expressionless and like emotionless for the most part. He didn't really care about nothing. Uh, he didn't really... Like, he reacted at certain times, sure, but not as good as Ayumu did, I feel. I feel like Ayumu was better. Because uh, it was not just Ayumu being antisocial. It's, like, his character that he's, like, stalwart and, like, has a mean-looking face to him, right? So, that's whatever. But the other guy in the other anime we reviewed, the uh, sibling, step-sibling one, uh... He just, like, was antisocial. And that's why he was, like, muted and whatnot. And, like, emotionless or whatever. Like, he, he didn't have to be. He obviously had parts where he was not. And showed. It was just, like, he chose to be emotionless. for. Him. But, yeah. So, good stuff. Don't want to talk too much about another anime while I'm reviewing this one. Really cool. I like the concept. It was adorable. The reactions of Urushi was very adorable every time that Ayumu would be like, you're cute, uh, she would blush a little bit and have a nice reaction. Uh, things I didn't like, but like I said, it's kind of fairly generic. It's your usual high school romance kind of one. Uh, the only thing that really sets it apart is that it's centered around Shogi and the Shogi clone. Uh, also, there, there's no confession or like confirmation scene where it's like, yeah, those two are now dating or anything like that. Kind of open-ended where it's like they're going to continue going about their daily lives doing this thing yada 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 right which uh isn't bad but i mean some of the characters like develop their feelings more and there is some development of characters and like relationship kind of stuff going on but nothing's ever like spoken between them to the point where they are like ah yes we love each other excellent Whatever. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything I did not like. Um, it, it honestly, like, until the last episode, where I could add the confession confirmation scene thing, like, I was, I was like, I don't even know how I can make this slide. Like, I don't, I don't have anything for this. Like, even the fairly generic one is like a stretch. It's not like I, I don't like the fact that it's generic. Because don't get me wrong, I, I do enjoy myself some generic high school romance, uh, you know, kind of stories when they're really cute and all that. 
Uh, and, and generic doesn't necessarily mean it's bad either, right? Because um, I, I read and watch a lot of generic isekai, for example, where the main character is overpowered and has a harem and all that stuff. So generic is not necessarily a bad thing, but it might be for other people. That's why I kind of listed it. So that's the long and short of it. There's things I liked and didn't like. Hard to say a whole bunch, but on to the recommendation and could there be a second season? Simply, I would recommend it. Uh, if you're, you know, looking for a show that's really laid back and chill, uh, has like some, you know, romance elements to it, where one character is trying to accomplish a goal so that he can confess to the girl he likes, and the other character is slowly developing her feelings to the guy as well. Um, is really good, really nice. There's also the, the side characters um, are able to have their own little thing going on. There's a kind of are they going to go out sort of thing going on between two other characters that are the side characters that support the main ones. So it's really nice. Uh, as for a second season, it's definitely possible. Uh, it leaves it, like I said, without a confession, without them getting together and hooking up. Uh, the only thing I can see being a problem is that Urushi's in her third year of high school, which is the last year in Japan. So uh, they also just went on their summer break, which or their summer vacation, I think it was, the, the school trip that they have. Um, so they don't have very long left before the school year ends. Like only a couple months, right? I forget exactly when the Japanese school year starts, to be completely honest. Because I don't think it, like, you don't really have a start and an end date in, in Japan. It's like you have long vacations, but you go to school all year round, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure when it, like, when you graduate, you know. I'm not sure if it's, it, I feel like it's in spring. But I don't know for sure. Anyway, they don't have much time to really fit into thing there, right? So there's the possibility that it, it doesn't have enough space for a second season, but they could if they wanted to, like, condense it down to just more of them, like, doing random stuff. Or even if they wanted to be, like, Hey, uh, Urushi's graduated and going to college now, and they're uh, still interacting and talking over the phone and stuff. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how it would progress, but uh, they could definitely do it. Would I want another season? Yeah, sure, why not? It's not bad. It's, it's not great. It's not like I'd be upset if it didn't get a second season, unlike with you know, some shows that deserve a second season that do not get it. Uh, but this one, I don't feel it needs one necessarily. But it could definitely have one. So, yeah. That's it, everyone. So, let's uh, go back to the, the main screen here, and we'll wrap up. So, that's my thoughts on when Ayumu, uh, Ayumu will make his move. Feel free to check it out if it sounds like it's up your alley, and you're looking for a nice, chill romance kind of anime going on. But, uh, yeah, that is about it in terms of that i think while i'm here i'm just gonna mention this because uh shadow's house comes out uh, on the same day that this anime comes out and shadow's house second season ended today i just wanted to point out that if you've not checked out shadow house you definitely should it is a brilliant anime an interesting and unique plot and Man, it's just like, it's so good. I, at first I was like, this is kind of a weird show. But after the first season starts to pick up, I was 100% invested in it. And it's definitely going to have a third season if it, if it gets you know, renewed for it. But it, it can have and will have a third season, in my opinion. It needs one. Uh, like I was saying here uh, about... Seasons getting robbed from animes that deserve them. Shadow's House is definitely one that deserves a third season. I hope it gets one so I can check that out. But after this, we have just five shows left to talk about. The Alternate World Pharmacy, Black Summoner, Call of the Night, Licorice Recoil, and Uncle from Another World. Those are the last ones we'll be talking about. Uncle from Another World is still uh, on episode 9, I think it's the last one that came out. So it's going to be a while for that one. Licorice Recoil and Black Summoner might finish up tomorrow. 
Alternate World Pharmacy should finish up on Sunday. And then Call of the Night should finish up next week. This is episode 13. So, yeah, we're looking at this week. Everything's finished except for Uncle from Another World, which, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do a review on that one just because it's going to be so far in there. Uh, but I will tell you right now, it is great. Check out Uncle from Another World. Uh, the one where the uncle gets isekai and then like wakes up in the beginning of the show back in Japan and then talks to his nephew about uh, his exploits in the other world and everything like that. It's, it's a hilarious show. It's, it's interesting. And I frankly quite love it. So that's everything for now, everyone. Thank you for hanging out. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.